Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, two days ago, I put out a video that said, you smell the gun control coming? Man, was that apropos because it is dropping. It is working through the house resolution system right now. In fact, my phone's blowing up. We're getting a lot of information. This video is gonna be very high level, give you the basics, and I wanna come back with more videos to keep following up. So along that vein, make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you have other people subscribed and share these messages out because this is the start of the battle of the Biden administration for the gun rights that we fight for and we hold so dear. So if you have subscribed, thank you. And if you are going to subscribe, I hope this earns it. And if not, I'll see you in the next video and hope we can earn it then. All right, people, here we go. This is gonna be real brief. There is HR8, and HR 1446. All right, these are incredibly important numbers if you remember, because what they're doing is, surprise, surprise, they're doing a little subversion in the house. This has been done overnight, instantly, very, very quickly. In fact, it's even gone so quickly, it's completely bypassed the committee system, which they do all their bills through, which is a, which is a good reason why you cannot find these bills on the actual um, congress.gov. They're being that secretive about it. now. This is scheduled to go to the House vote this coming week or next week, okay? I'm gonna be very high level what they pertain to and then I'm going to elude even more detail later on in more videos. I'm gonna up the videos because this is very important for us. So, HR 8. This one is all about transferring. If you recall back on the videos that we did about a month ago, they really hit on transferring a firearm and how they were gonna do it and how they cut down on the Second Amendment through regulating the ways you can hand someone a firearm or transfer a firearm, air quotes. There's lots of different things, but basically this one has to do with what actually defines a transfer. Is it handing it to your friend? Can you hand it to a family member, but not to a married in family member? Can you hand it to someone you're at the range with and leave the room or can you not? Like there's, that's what this pertains to. Now, the big thing here is they will require, should this go through, this is kind of the direction they're going, they will require a background check every time a transfer occurs. So basically no private firearm sales at the, at like on the sale level. If you think about it, this is essentially backdoor gun registration, right? Because you're going to have to put that serial number, your name, your social, and run a 4473. If you're new to the gun world, that's basically the form that the government runs a background check on you. So like I said, it's blowing up. So I'm actually going to put that on silent. So um, this is going to be about basically regulation of transferring that firearm, but they're also going to know who has what firearm, and this is a first step to a registration. It's like a soft registration, okay? That's a big deal. We're going to dive into a lot more of it later on. It's probably tonight, so I'm going to do two videos, on, one on each of these um, bills or resolutions. So now here's the second one, 1446. Now this one is a little more nefarious and a lot more subjective, which I do not like. Um, Essentially, it's addressing the NICS system. So again, if you're not familiar with the firearm system, you have to do a background check, the NICS system. It goes to the FBI, gives you a full background check. You can essentially do an approved, a deny, or a hold. The hold is what they're actually addressing on this one. So the way that it stands now is if you hold, if you get a hold from the FBI and they don't get back to you, you get that firearm. Basically, it's like the gun um, seller or vendor says, hey, the FBI didn't call us back in the set amount of time, so that means there was no red flag. You can have your gun that you already paid for. Now what they're doing is they're basically saying is that can go indefinitely. So essentially, you can pay for the gun, pay for the right to have your gun. They hold the gun for you, but if the FBI never gets back, there's no expiration period. So they hold that gun through an indefinite hold. Okay, that's essentially what we're doing. Like I said, a lot more detail coming, but that's where we're at right now. So HR 8 and HR 1446. I'm going to leave a lot more detail later on. Make sure you share this message to anybody that you know <laughs> cares about the gun world because the gun YouTube scene is about to blow up because this is it. This is our time. We are getting geared up and this is what we've been building. So thanks for subscribing, guys. I'll see you on the next video that I'm going to do. And uh, hey, stay safe out there and spread this message and awareness. So until tomorrow, or actually later tonight, I'm Braden. See you later.